Meanwhile, a whale of a controversy has surfaced in Salt Lake City's 9th and 9th neighborhood, where the newest resident set to move in is a 23 foot tall marine mammal. 600 miles east of the Pacific Ocean and 4,300 feet above sea level, the enormous humpback will emerge from the roundabout at 9th South and 11th East. Mayor Aaron Mendenhall signed off on the sculpture after the Salt Lake City Arts Council surveyed 100 residents of the area. Can I ask why a whale? <laughs> well, it's unexpected. And 9th and 9th is an unexpected sort of community. And I think it's the dumbest thing I ever heard for a statue in Salt Lake City. There's no ocean here. A whale doesn't belong. Local artist Stephen Kessler, who has created similar works for the Loveland Living Planet Aquarium, is sculpting the piece, and it's a big son of a breach, standing 23 feet tall and 40 feet wide. Some say it will be a welcome addition. We love the idea of the well. We think it's going to be amazing and spectacular. It's out of the blue. That's the name of the sculpture, and it is certainly out of the blue. But some residents are simply bewildered and think this idea blows. We don't feel like the whale represents us very well. Like, I don't understand what has to do with this area. Yeah. It's really big and distracting for the roundabout, and it's also uh, it doesn't quite fit the neighborhood. I think it's a traffic hazard, potentially. It's just it will block the view. You won't be able to see who's coming through the roundabout, and it's distracting. <laughs> Now there is one additional problem. In the past year, this roundabout has become no man's land. Some residents are worried when the whale arrives, these guys will have to go somewhere else. A change.org petition called Save the Gnomes of Ninth and Ninth shows photos of the protesting imps. Well, I think gnomes and whales can coexist, and there's a little bit of irony when we are talking about Ninth and Ninth as being a welcoming community, that uh, there would be people saying a whale's not welcome here, but gnomes are. So we hope that they can coexist. There's space on that roundabout for them all to be there, and we have a place even for the gnomes to move just to the side as the whale gets installed, and they will surely be welcomed back. So the people of the Ninth and Ninth neighborhood will not be gnomeless? <laughs> no, no, there will be no gnomeless gnomes at the Ninth and Ninth roundabout. That whale sculpture is being finished this summer and no doubt will make a splash when it is installed in the fall. I don't know, guys. Uh, we're landlocked here in Utah. I don't know how you feel about the prospect of a big whale. Oh, Lana, did you count how many puns he had in that? You can't just... possibly. But I feel good knowing that the gnomes will not be gnomeless. That was, that was the question I was waiting for, Reagan. I'm glad that you were able to solve that.